Welcome back to our IB Chemistry video series. This is the fourth and final video in IB Chemistry Topic 10, Organic Chemistry, where we will be looking at alcohols, aldehydes, ketones, carboxylic acids, and benzene. In the previous three videos of this series, we have covered the most important homologous series for your exam, bar one, alcohols. Alcohols, as stated previously, contain the hydroxyl OH functional group, and they are defined by the general formula CnH2n plus 1 OH. Just like halogenoalkanes, they can be primary, where the carbon to which the hydroxyl group is bound is bound to one other carbon, secondary, where the carbon to which the hydroxyl group is bound is bound to two other carbons, or tertiary, where the carbon to which the hydroxyl group is bound is bound to three other carbons. Since they are polar, they are soluble in water, although as their chain length increases, this solubility decreases, as covered in our IB Chemistry Topic 4 video series. There are two main reactions of alcohols you need to know. Like alkanes and alkenes, they undergo complete and incomplete combustion. For example, the equations for ethanol would be this and this. They undergo oxidation reactions when heated with acidified potassium dichromate 7 Cr2O7 T- or acidified potassium manganate 7 MnO4- two reducing agents. Doing so, they form aldehydes, ketones, and carboxylic acids. During oxidation, the reducing agent required and species formed depends on the classification of the alcohol used. Let's cover it. Primary alcohols undergo partial oxidation when heated with either reducing agent to form an aldehyde plus water. For example, the displayed equation for the partial oxidation of propanol to form propanal would be like so. We can also represent this reaction using a chemical equation, where an O in brackets indicates the reducing agent. So the same reaction would be CH3CH2CH2OH plus O goes to CH3CH2CHO plus H2O. However, if a primary alcohol undergoes complete oxidation by either conducting the heating under reflux or capturing the aldehyde and reheating it, again, with either reducing agent, it forms a carboxylic acid. So, the equations for the complete oxidation of propanol to form propanoic acid would be CH3CH2CH2OH plus O goes to CH3CH2COOH. Secondary alcohols undergo oxidation when heated with acidified potassium dichromate to form a ketone plus water. For example, the equations for the oxidation of propan-2-ol to form propan 2 one would be this and this. Tertiary alcohols are not oxidised. This is a very common trick in the exam, so make sure you remember it. It is important to note that during these oxidation reactions, the reduction of acidified potassium dichromate and acidified potassium manganate causes a colour change in both species. The first changes from orange to green, and the second from purple to colourless, expressed by the following two half equations, which you should be familiar with from our IB Chemistry Topic 9 video series. Cr2O7 T- plus 14H plus plus 6E minus goes to 2Cr3 plus plus 7H2O, and MnO4 minus plus 8H plus plus 5E minus goes to Mn2 plus plus 4H2O. Let's tie this all together with a question. The following species shown is oxidised. Write an equation using condensed structural formula to show the reagents and the main products formed. First, identify the classification of the alcohol. Since the carbon to which the hydroxyl group is bound is bound to two other carbons, this is a secondary alcohol specifically hexan-2-ol. Since a secondary alcohol is oxidised to form a ketone plus water in the presence of acidified potassium dichromate, we can write the following equation. Don't forget to write the conditions required for the reaction, i.e. heat, and Cr2O7 T- slash H plus above the arrow. Those of you studying IB chemistry higher level are expected to understand the return reactions to convert aldehydes, ketones and carboxylic acids back to alcohols. This will be covered in our Topic 20 video series. Great! Your knowledge of the core homologous series is now completed. 
Now, let's briefly discuss the remaining series of aldehydes, ketones, and carboxylic acids. Aldehydes and ketones, as stated previously, both contain the carbonyl functional group. For example, butanal and butantuone. Since they are polar, they both exhibit permanent dipole interactions between molecules, and so have very similar boiling points. As these interactions are weaker than the hydrogen bonds present between alcohols, but stronger than the London forces between alkanes and alkenes, they have lower boiling points than alcohols, but higher boiling points than alkanes and alkenes. Like with alcohols, the shorter chain aldehydes and ketones are soluble in water, in part due to the fact they can hydrogen bond to water molecules. Onwards to carboxylic acids. You've now reached the end of the preview for this IB Science video. If you want to check out the full video, head over to our website and select a membership plan today.